Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we are doing a toned arm workout. Of course, it's safe for pregnancy and postpartum. Anyone can do it. We are going to work on definition and sleek arms. So you don't need any equipment. However, I am going to use some light dumbbells. I'm going to use three pound dumbbells. You could also just grab a couple of filled up water bottles. Taking our feet a little bit more than hip width distance apart, we can warm up our arms with some arm circles. Starting to take some deeper breaths as well. Good, switching directions. So during all of the moves, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our core engaged. So if you're pregnant, pulling your baby in, and if you're postpartum, feeling your muscles wrapping around you like a corset to protect your core. We can take our arms out now and we'll do some little arm circles. So engaging your core and little arm circles as fast as you can. Making sure you're breathing steady breaths. Good. Let's go the other way. Little circles back. Now we're going to go little pulses up and down. You should also be able to feel your muscles working along your side body. Let's turn our palms up. Tiny fast pulses. Good. A couple more here. Let's turn our palms back now. Making sure we're not rocking while we're doing this. Good, palms forward. I'm starting to feel my arms warm up. Perfect, let's do a couple more big arm circles. Moving forward. And then we can go ahead and pick up our light dumbbells or our water bottles. So we're gonna start with some bicep curls and making sure our upper arm is staying steady and we'll just curl, bringing them down. Core is engaged. Last one, good, release down, <sighs> engage, brace your core. Let's bring our arms in front now, and then we will curl from this position. Good. We have five more here. Last one, good. Let's bring it down. Now we can bring our arms out to the side, engage your back, bring it into kind of a W position here, lengthening out. We'll do 10 here as well. Two more. Awesome job. Let's bring it down. Do a couple of shoulder rolls. Going forward. All right, we're going to lift to the front and side, engaging your core. Exhale on the way up. Inhale, exhale to the side. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
eight more. Last one. Good. Release. Let's take a breath. Let's bring our hands up now to a cactus position and engaging your chest as well. Bring them in and out. And 10 in this position. Last one, good, releasing down. We'll take a breath again. So we're gonna come, keep our feet hip width distance apart. You can bend your knees and we'll do rows here. So pulling, using your shoulder blades, pulling your arms back. Good. Let's bring them out now. Last one. Good. Let's bring our hands in and tricep. Last one here. Now let's take our palms up and pulse here. Good, release down. Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls. My arms are definitely feeling the burn. Good, we can get down on the bat now and we're not going to need our weights for this section. Coming on to all fours, let's extend one leg behind us and we're going to bend our elbows, keeping them in towards our ribs, pressing down and up. We tend in this position. Last one, good. Let's switch to the other side. Setting up, extend, elbows, keeping them in towards your ribs. Last one, beautiful. Let's bring both knees in. We'll come down, pulse here.
Beautiful, come on up. We have one more move. We can come up onto our knees and raise your arms up to an angle. We're gonna do a variation of swimming, keeping your core engaged, tiny, fast. Keep going, not much longer. Good, and release down. Let's do a couple of shoulder rolls and we'll stretch it out. Let's come into a child's pose. We're gonna walk our hands forward and then bend our elbows. You can take your hands together, really stretching through. You can reach for the backs of your shoulders. Pressing down on your elbows to get a deep stretch. Good. Releasing your hands back down to the mat. You can walk them in again. Let's take one hand on the ground. Go down on your elbow and stretch out through your shoulder. Good, you can come up and we'll thread the needle, stretching the front of your shoulder now. Pressing your opposite hand in, we'll switch sides, taking your hand out to the side, stretching through your shoulder. This should feel really good. Thread the needle. And coming back to all fours. We are done. You did amazing. My arms feel it now. They are definitely going to feel it tomorrow. So I hope you feel like you got a good workout in. If there's another part of the body you'd like me to target, let me know in the comments below. I will keep making pregnancy and postpartum safe yoga, Pilates, and workouts. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this with another pregnancy or postpartum community. You can also check my pregnancy and postpartum free resources I have in the description box below. For pregnancy, I have my complete guide on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor. And for postpartum, I have a postpartum monthly workout plan, as well as my guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. If you like this video, I'm gonna link to another video that you might enjoy as well. And the whole playlist, you can save it and come back to the different workouts whenever you like.